Today's Excel tip is a simple formatting feature uh, called uh, text wrapping. So let's say you've got some cell text in some cells that are too wide to display. Maybe they're column headings and you don't want to make your columns any wider. So you end up with something like this where um, you, know, you can't see all the text because it's spilling over into the next cell and you, and you need to be able to see everything. So you can set, uh, select the cell um, or in this case we'd probably want to select the whole row and you can use the wrap text button and you can see that Excel will automatically adjust the row height and uh, you know, spread your text over as many lines but still within the same cells you know, as many lines as you need. Now there are a couple other ways you can get to that also. Um, you can right click anywhere in your selected area and choose format cells or you can also Look down here in the corner of the uh, alignment section of the home ribbon and you'll get the, the format cells um, window there. So here you see we can choose our, um, our wrap text option. We'll turn that on right there. And then another thing that you may want to consider is setting a horizontal or, or, or vertical alignment. And uh, it won't really affect these initially, the ones that are, are filling the whole height of the cell, but if you get others, other cells later where you're not putting as much in there, then uh, that'll affect how it displays. We'll leave that set on bottom for now. And we'll come over here and we'll put in your date sales. And you can see that since that is narrow enough to fit within our column width, there's no text wrapping. So depending on how you want things to display, you might choose to set that at the top, in the center, or at the bottom. Now another option, if maybe you want this to wrap even though it doesn't need to, in that case we'll go up here to edit the cell and I'm going to do an alt enter and that will insert a line break into that cell so now you have that displaying on two lines so visually it's consistent with the others even though it doesn't need it for the width.